Hey, how you doing guys? Um, for this topic, we're going to talk about upscaling to uh, 4K resolution. And um, before I show you the, uh, the actual project, how we did it, I uh, kind of want to talk a little bit about upscaling now. Um, upscaling is actually more common than you think. Uh, give an example, you could be playing a uh, um, 4, 480p resolution video full screen on your, you know, HD monitor HD TV monitor or whatever and um, running it full screen is actually a way of upscaling um, now I got this idea from uh, watching uh, hearing about Linus tech tips how um, he actually uh, records in 4k and then he actually down uh, down samples and then upscales back up to uh, 4 4k or some such I don't know the exact procedure and it got me really to thinking um, and other actually there's uh, actually quite a few people on YouTube done the same thing um, even seen the same uh, thing with uh, Linus tech tips and got the idea my, my idea is different because they're actually um, taking um, 1080p from a 2 megapixel res uh, sensor and then upscaling it. I'm doing kind of the same thing except um, I'm using the Canon C100 which is essentially a um, 4k sensor which is around I think uh, 8.9 megapixels automatically downscales it and what that does is give you a very superior 1080p uh, picture that's going to be sharper, have more uh, detail, and so on. So um, that kind of got me thinking, well, what if I take that um, superior image and upscale to 4K? I mean, it's going to be useful. Is it going to be, you know, so I'm going to show you the whole process and uh, go from there, and we're going to see how it turns out. Hey, how you doing guys? Uh, we're going to take a look at um, the whole procedure um, that I use to uh, upscale from 1080p to 4K using my Canon C100. Um, now, what I decided to get the, uh, to really upscale from that, I might actually want to get the best high quality picture as possible. Uh, so what I did is uh, shoot a short video on the Canon C100 using uh, Canon C Log Cinema, um, and as you can see, it's uh, really desaturated. So I just used a uh, uh, built-in LUT from uh, Final Cut Pro 10, uh, just like so, which uh, gets it ready for uh, some color correction and color grading. And um, here, I already used Color Finale to get the uh, the end result. And uh, what we simply did was um, do a quick uh, white balance using the eyedroppers on the uh, the highlights and shadows, and then we just did a uh, quick quick LUT um, using uh, the Elsiris Vision Six, one of my favorite uh, LUTs, at uh, twenty nine percent. And uh, what we're going to do is actually send that to compressor because we're going to be uh, using a uh, custom 4K upscaling. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. And there we just uh, sent that to uh, compressor. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut down uh, Final Cut Pro and then. Uh, going to be doing some custom 4K um, output and let me see here I know it's in here somewhere and um, there we go we got it uh, 4K export now we're going to have to do uh, go in here and do some uh, manual settings make sure they're they're uh, correct uh, which we're going to video uh, we're going to go to frame size and we're going to switch it because this is actually automatic it goes up to um, 
4K, I believe it's, I'm trying to get to DCI. Now, I'm not going to use that because then it'll actually, um, it may not scale correctly. We're actually going to go to manual. That way we don't have to worry about it trying to automatically um, affect uh, the image. Just like so. And uh, we're going to go ahead and export it. And um, for the final process, I'm actually going to um, place this file, uh, upload it to YouTube in a separate video so you can see, um, uh, get the best quality uh, image and go from there. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe if you are uh, like my channel and uh, see you later.